Welcome. I am your oracle. What would you like to know? Actually, I know why you're here. You want to learn if there will be seafood and a healthy ocean for your children and grandchildren to enjoy. Well, it all depends on you. Let me ask you some questions. Top predators, such as sharks, help keep our oceans healthy. But fishing for them is profitable and employs thousands of fishers. Millions of sharks are caught every year. Shark fins are valuable. Do you want to limit fishing for top predators, such as sharks? Fishing for sharks provides income for fishers, but shark populations are declining and the fisheries are not sustainable. Overfishing for species, such as sharks, can lead to changes throughout the food web. On overfished coral reefs, the result can be that small plants, called algae, overgrow the reefs when fish populations, such as the algae-eating parrotfish, are too sparse to keep them at bay. How will you balance income against healthy ecosystems? Do you want to limit fishing for top predators, such as sharks? A hundred million sharks are fished every year and the value of these fisheries is close to half a billion dollars. This income will be lost if you ban shark fishing. But as top predators, sharks play an important role in the ecosystem. They help to keep food webs intact and fish populations stable. Fishing is, however, driving shark populations closer and closer to extinction. Regulation of fisheries for top predators, such as sharks, is important if we are to leave behind healthy oceans for coming generations. For millions of years, sharks have played an important role in the marine environment. But around the world, shark populations are declining. This has serious consequences for our oceans. In the Pacific, scientists compared the conditions of coral reefs in relatively pristine, less populated areas with reefs that were heavily impacted by human activities, such as Your decisions determine if the coming generations will draw benefit from the future ocean. It is your choice. <laughs>